Hello, BookTube community. Welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I have a tiny, itty-bitty little book haul to do. Um, these are both Goodreads books. Um, on a side note for the Goodreads, um, I have got a decidedly large collection of Goodreads books, so I'm going to have to go through and start reading Goodreads. So my, my, my next maybe to be reads um, for the month or whatever, I'm going to take off from the Goodreads shelf because my Goodreads bookshelf is getting too full. That being said, I've got two more Goodreads books. Um, excuse me. It's late Friday night and I'm absolutely exhausted. So, this is the first one. And I like this one because it came in a rigid box that forces the male lady to actually use the compartment meant for parcels instead of trying to stuff the parcels into my tiny little compartment. This one looks to be a soft cover. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. This one. I picked up just for two reasons. For one, it expands my knowledge, and for two, um, I felt, uh, I don't want to say let down for school, but I, I felt like I didn't learn as much as I could at school, um, especially with my spelling and that kind of thing. So this one is an interesting book. It's Discovering the Five Love Languages at School, School Grades 1 to 6, Lessons That Promote Academic ex Excellence and Connections for Life. So I think that this would be an awesome book to go through. It's almost like a little textbook. Um, and it, it's a really neat thing to go through. I think that it, it's going to be um, kind of an out-of-the-ordinary read, which is what I'm looking for, especially when you've just finished, say, a hard read and you want something a little softer. So that's I'm excited about. And then the next one, this is one, of course, that the male lady shoved into the tiny little mailboxes. So... I'm really hoping that it wasn't damaged, because they don't seem to care about damaging your stuff. And let's see. Oh, it's a lovely big one. Oh, it's a beautiful little spine. Zero repeat forever. Huh. Zero repeat for other, advanced reader's copy, not for sale or quotation. Beautiful cover. Zero repeat forever. Nice big thick book. Um, let's see what it says here. Uh, he has no voice or name, only a rank. Eighth. He doesn't know the detail of the mission or the the directives that hum, hum in his mind. Dart the humans, leave them where they fall. His job is to protect his offside, let her do the shooting, until a human kills her. Sixteen-year-old Raven is at summer camp when the terrifying armored ne Nehex invade. Isolated in the wilderness, Raven and her fellow campers can only stay put, await rescue. Raven doesn't feel like doesn't like feeling helpless, but what choice does she have? Then Nex. Nick Hex kills her boyfriend. Thrown together in a violent, unfamiliar world, Eighth and Raven should hate and fear each other, but when Raven is injured and then Eighth deserts his unit, their survival depends on trusting each other. Wow, that's an interesting concept. I'm going to try to read that one right away. Alright, so these are the two books that I got. My tiny, life, tiny itty bitty little book haul. Discovering the Five Love Languages in School. I think I've got the love languages for relationships, the five love languages for relationships, and zero repeat forever. So, very cool books. Can't wait to get uh, into them, especially the zero repeat. I'm really loving the cover on that one. Um, thank you very much, guys, for listening to me, and I'll let you know when I've got more bookish news.